Hey there folks, Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. This is episode seven, and this week we're talking about inner dialogue. Hey there, Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. This week we're gonna talk about the concept of inner dialogue. So there is a difference between outer dialogue and inner dialogue, and knowing those differences can help you while you're writing dialogue in your play, your screenplay, or your novel, and it'll also help you understand actors that are going to perform your work. Inner dialogue is not a new concept. It's not a concept that I came up with. And I learned it when I was trying to learn more about acting so I could relate to actors when I was writing. But since then, I've always found a use for it when I'm writing any kind of dialogue in any format. The differences between outer dialogue and inner dialogue is outer dialogue is actually what you have your characters saying. So it's what they actually say out loud. Inner dialogue is what they mean to say or what they really want to say. But they can't actually say what they want to say because of either social construct or maybe it's part of the story. So here's some examples of the differences between the two. Let's say you have a couple sitting in a cafe at a table and one of them has a ring. He extends the ring to the other one and says, will you marry me? And the other one says, yes. And so that's the outer dialogue for both characters. Real simple, will you marry me? Yes, however, Determining the inner dialogue would determine how the outer dialogue is set. And a lot of trained actors will call it interpretation or they'll call it choices. So again, imagine you have the same couple, same table in the same cafe. One leans over to the other, says, will you marry me? And the other one says, yes. But instead of just saying yes, they say, yes. Clearly in that example, the inner dialogue is saying, I'm scared instead of yes. They actually say yes, outer dialogue. But what they want to say is, I'm scared. So let's say the character doing the proposing isn't going to take no for an answer. He's some sort of narcissist and feel it's his right to have whoever he wants. That would clearly dictate his inner dialogue as well. So even though he's saying, will you marry me? It's more like, will you marry me? The person being proposed to, maybe they're not scared. Maybe that's been their plan the whole time. Maybe their character is a gold digger. That would definitely change their inner dialogue. Something along the lines of, will you marry me? Yes. Here's a couple more examples, and Rylan and Foster are going to help me. Look what I got from Mother's Day. Ooh, that's really pretty, Foster. I think she's really going to love it. So Rylan's outer dialogue in that exchange is pretty obvious. Her inner dialogue is saying something along the lines of, hey, you hit it out of the park this year with this gift. Look what I got from Mother's Day. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. I think she's going to love that. In that version of the same exchange, Rylan clearly doesn't think that's a good gift, but she doesn't say that. She says the exact same thing, but we can tell what her inner dialogue is saying. Here's another scene with the two of them. This time, take a look at Foster's inner dialogue. Hey, Foster. Today in school, I found that Johnny is a crutch up. Good for you, Johnny is a very good kid. So in that exchange, his inner dialogue is kind of lackadaisical, doesn't really mean a lot to him, but he's glad for her. Now check out the second version and see if you can find the very slight difference in his inner dialogue. Hey Foster, today in school I found that Johnny is a crutch up. I agree for you, Johnny's a very great kid. So by now you know the concept of inner dialogue if you didn't already before, but how do we incorporate that into what we're writing? How do we actually write what someone is trying to say or wanting to say without actually saying it? If you're doing a stage play or a screenplay, ultimately it's going to be up to the actor and the director working together to come up with the best inner dialogue for your story. But how do we work inner dialogue into fiction writing, like a novel, because no one usually is reading that out loud to you? If you've been writing for a while, the answer is simple. And if you're just getting started in writing, you're going to get the hang of it. You're going to have to rely on describing vocal nuances, facial expressions, and of course body language. And depending on your point of view, you can even write what they're thinking to describe what their inner dialogue is. In playwriting, those three aspects are easy to work into your script. In screenwriting, however, there's a lot of schools of thought out there that you shouldn't be adding anything that feels like it's stepping on the director's toes. My personal opinion to that school of thought is tough sh if a director wants to change what I've written, that's fine, but I'm gonna tell the story the best way I know how. So when you actually get to your writing and you're working on dialogue, don't forget about the concept of inner dialogue so that way you can clearly represent where your character is coming from to your reader or your audience. This is Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hey folks, before I let you go, I wanted to let you know that with the launch of this vlog, we are going to be running a contest and I'm gonna run a new contest every two months. So for this first two months, we are going to do a naked selfie contest. So no while you gotta... naked selfie contests. Stick to the script. 
Fine. What the contest will be is email me a subject or a topic you'd like me to do an episode for. And if I choose your topic, and I will choose a topic for every contest period, then I'll send you a copy of one of my plays for free. So for this first two months, we're going to feature Skin in the Games. And if you want to learn more about it, then visit benfarrellwriter.com and click on Stage Plays. It's not as exciting as a naked selfie contest, but at least it's free stuff. Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>